Hey Forge fans, Anthony Urcioli with you. It is the match day preview for Jeff C. Hosting Toronto FC finally. At least a two-year wait. It feels like longer though. I feel like when we we heard the news that there'd be a Canadian Premier League and that Hamilton would have one of the flagship teams, we've been waiting for this moment for Toronto FC to visit Hamilton to take on our professional soccer club, and that'll happen Saturday. Now I should address, for those of you watching, I should address the fact that there is a cat on the couch in the background. Now, you may be thinking that, hey, that's like, that's unprofessional and, and you know, the, clean up the, the space before you, have you ever tried to move a sleeping cat? That's my, that's my question to you. Um, and I'm sure the answer will clear things up for you as to why I left him. I have the, the battle wounds to, uh, to prove it as well. Uh, Forge FC. Feeling pretty good after that win over FC Edmonton. Score was 4-3. Uh, they were playing a club who hadn't collected any wins this season. So I think on the face of it, it would appear that, well, why is that an impressive win? It's one of those you had to watch the match to appreciate why. It was uh, such an impressive win for Forge and why it was so important. Coming back from two deficits, playing the right way for most of the match, over 75% of the possession, and just things weren't going their way. And they battled through it. They showed a lot of resolve and they got the win. Borges, first ever hat trick in Forge history, which was nice. Um, Abu Sissoko played outstanding box to box. Some young guys got some meaningful minutes. Uh, Kwesi Poku, for example. And at the end of the day, Forge got the win. They're feeling pretty good. And now they they, they face a task, and it, it's interesting. Um, we spoke to Adam Jenkins, who is a play-by-play -play broadcaster with One Soccer. Earlier this week, you can listen to that, by the way. Um, it was on the uh, Focus on Forge segment this week. He talked about Forge playing Toronto FC at the right time. And what an opportunity this is that Forge cannot let pass them by. They can raise a trophy at home for the first time. All the things that Forge have won, all the trophies they've lifted in their short time in the three and a half years they've been in existence, never has it been done in front of their home fans. This is the opportunity. You can do it against an MLS club. Um, it's a way to showcase the league, showcase the players, showcase the city of Hamilton. And Toronto FC is not playing well. Uh, they're at the bottom, near the bottom of the standings in the Eastern Conference in Major League Soccer. Um, they have the highest goals against in the Eastern Conference, second highest in the entire league. Uh, they're a club that is, uh, I'm not going to say right for the picking necessarily, but certainly there's an opportunity for Forge to capitalize on Toronto FC um, not being as um, into form as they would hope. And, you know, you play them a little into the future, you run the risk of having to face Lorenzo Insigne um, and a more healthier squad in general for Toronto FC. So this is Forge's opportunity, and the players and coaches are, are looking to capitalize on it. Speaking of the players and coaches, um, I spoke to a bunch, um, and you're going to hear them. You're going to hear parts of them. If you're looking to listen to full interviews... Remember, you can do so. You can listen to uh, Coach Bobby Smirniotis on Behind the Beard. That's available on everywhere that you get your Forge content. Player interviews available by going to the official website to Forge FC. So let, let's jump into it here. I spoke to Forge head coach Bobby Smirniotis about the opportunity for Forge to raise a trophy in front of their hometown fans. Uh, so Saturday, expecting a pretty big crowd all the trophies you guys have won, it's never been in front of the, the hometown fans, so big opportunity this weekend. Yeah, it's obviously nice. You always want to try and do something uh, here. I think, you know, that's the thing that's secondary in the mind, you know, uh, primary in this. Just getting uh, the tactical plan right, getting the guys engaged and, uh, and everyone understanding, you know, for both teams, this is 90 minutes and an opportunity to lift a trophy, you know. Uh, we know in these final games uh, it could uh, look good, it could look ugly, it could look a million different ways. Uh, but the most important thing for us is, is to find that way to win and to, you know, just to dig deep in all aspects of the game, tactically what we need to do, defensively what we need to do, and especially off the ball. And a lot of the players have been talking about the fact that you know there's going to be friends, there's family here. Uh, you've, you've been in a lot of big moments in, in your career. Is this as big of some, like, where do you maybe rank this in terms of just big moments within... 
forges professional. Yeah, I think when you look at it as a as a club, I think it's a big moment. You're playing for a Canadian championship. You know, you had the opportunity to to be the first uh, club from a CPL from the CPL to to win uh, this trophy, and and make it yours. I think so. That's uh, that's massive. It's one thing we've uh, discussed from the beginning. We're going to give a lot of opportunities to be the first, and we've taken advantage of that in uh, in many ways as as a club. So here's another one. You know, it's the first time a CPL team will play in the, in the finals of the Canadian uh, Championship, uh, the late Canadian Championship, but uh, well deserved on our end. So, you know, that's what we're looking at, you know, and, and that allows you to keep on creating your culture and uh, keeps on uh, building on what your history will be uh, years down the road. Now, as much as we will be looking ahead to TFC, I mean, this is the match day preview after all, um, we can't completely let go of that win over Edmonton because th- th- there's there's a bridge here from one game to the next and how meaningful that game was um, going into the match with Toronto FC. Tristan Borges has not uh, been, let's say, uh, he hasn't been content with the way his game has gone this season. Um, He thinks he can be contributing more, that he could be scoring more. And I think most would agree. I mean, the bar was set very high for Tristan Borges with the way that he started his CPL career and his Forge career. And uh, Borges with a hat trick against Edmonton. I spoke to Tristan. And here's what that, why that those three goals were so important against Edmonton and how important it is to be able to carry that momentum against Toronto. Is the uh, effect of that the hat trick worn off yet? Are you still feeling a little bit high on it? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's uh, as long as we won. Uh, obviously, three goals is nice to get, um, just to kind of get the confidence going. Uh, especially me, it's been it's been a little bit of a rough patch. Not even this year, a little bit more. Last year, even though I kind of think I ended the season well, just performance wise. But I mean, at the end of the day, st- stats are really important too, right? But for me, it's just about winning. We're already on to the next game, which is uh, TFC, which is a big game. So. All right, your opponent this weekend, it's pretty self-explanatory, mm-hmm. but expecting a big crowd on Saturday here in Hamilton. Of all the trophies that Flourish has won, haven't been able to lift one in front of the fans just yet. So maybe just talk about the significance of that this weekend. Uh, yeah, very, very important. Uh, last time when I spoke about it was to win the CPL final. Obviously, it was uh, something that we weren't really proud of, of how we finished it. But, you know, anytime we get to play a game just itself in front of the fans, it's already exciting. So to be able to play a quality team like TFC in front of our fans is very, very important for us. And uh, we just want to be able to lift a trophy in front of the fans, you know, the first one of hopefully many. But, uh, yeah, we're really, really excited for this game. Now, you know, there are a lot of connections between Forge and Toronto FC from the players' perspective. A lot of current Forge players, seven was my count, um, that have either played for Toronto FC or came up through their youth program. One of those players, Ashton Morgan, and I was able to catch up with him. No, it's good, you know, it's uh, a trophy on the line, you know, so getting the fans excited, getting our team excited, getting everybody here at home uh, very excited for this match. Yeah, it- so, I mean, talk about the match. Obviously, everyone knows who, who you're playing. Mm-hmm. We're not sure which version we're, we're going to see on, on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, but what does it mean just for the club to be able to pick up a win against Toronto FC in the, and close that trophy? Yeah, and honestly, it's, it's a big game for both sides. You know, uh, trophies on the line and one of the trophies on the line, uh, special moments happen. You know, we already have a special moment at home in front of our fans. So, you know, we are uh, very excited for the match and we're just gearing up for it right now. Yeah, and obviously there's this connection. I mean, I think there's seven TFC connections on, on this mm. club. Uh, so is there a bit of a, a personal feeling for you, maybe more so than some of the other guys? Yeah, definitely. You know, you have to do and use what you can to fuel yourself for the match. And, you know, there's things on the line, of course. We all have our past, our histories, and, you know, that is the history before. And, you know, we're looking to hoist another trophy for our, for our future and for our present for Forge. Now, another guy with a connection to to, uh, Toronto FC, Emery Welshman, spent some time with the big club and um, is now a key component of that Forge attack. That would be an incredible moment for um, this club, this league, and this uh, city. So we're going into it, you know, very optimistic. We're going into it confident. But again, we're we're very, um, we know our, this opponent, it's got great history. It's a great team, some great players, and... Uh, it's a, it should be an exciting game. Is it impactful at all that you have history with TFC? Does it does it change anything going? To be honest, match? it's been so long that I sometimes forget that that's where um, 
that that's you know a former team they've changed so much that I don't I think Oso is honestly the only player that I played with that was there so it's, it's a completely different organization you know like, like I said when TFC drafted me um, I was a fan before and still am a fan today but um, Saturday it's business you know it's uh, they're they're the enemy on Saturday so looking forward to that. You know, when I think of the Canadian Premier League as this almost an extension of Canada soccer and about, you know, giving young Canadian players an opportunity to play, I'm reminded of a guy like Kwesi Poku, who, I mean, who knows, a talented player, quality all around, but maybe a guy that wouldn't have been given an opportunity had it not been for the Canadian Premier League. He's a young player. He's 20 years old. He's getting meaningful minutes at the pro level for Forge FC. He's being asked to do things he never had to do before, playing out of position, out of his natural position, and he's growing as a result of it. And again, you know, would he have this opportunity to grow into a quality Canadian uh, first team player if not for the Canadian Premier League and if not for Forge FC? Kwesi, by the way, very familiar with Toronto FC. He came up through their uh, their youth program, and I was able to, to chat with Kwesi just about his, his journey, his time with TFC, and what this match means for Forge and the Forge fans. A lot of family there. It's going to be good to raise the trophy in front of them. We're excited, we're pumped, and the fans are going to keep us going in that game, so it's great for the support. Yeah, and uh, your experience with Toronto FC, is it still pretty fresh in your, your mind? Still a pretty young guy? Yeah, obviously, uh, I came from the TFC Academy, but that's not really what we're focused on, you know, all the stories and stuff like that, facing my old team, revenge, it's not really what I'm focused on, I'm focusing more on, you know, the game plan, what Bobby has told us, and, you know, just getting the win, because that's all we care about, and we just want to bring silverware back. Uh, Bobby's talked about the tactical demand that he puts on his players, and as a younger player, is, has it been an ad adjustment to maybe pick up some responsibilities you weren't used to prior to For going sure. pro? For sure, the, the pro game has definitely been an adjustment, especially playing a new position, you know, left back. Uh, I haven't played here for the majority of my career and, you know, Bobby's given me a lot of new responsibilities and tactics that I have to learn. And it's a pro game, you have to learn it, you just have to adjust quickly and just be ready at all times. So it's been an adjustment. All right. I mean, what's more to say? Stage is set. 2020 Canadian Championship Final at Tim Hortons Field in Hamilton, Saturday, 7 o'clock. Um, it's going to be a packed house. But there are some tickets still available. So jump on that. Now, remember, like most home matches, uh, well, all home matches up to this point this season anyway, beers are $5 before kickoff. So certainly capitalize on that. And uh, don't forget, when you do buy tickets, add them to your uh, mobile wallet, whether it's Apple, Google Pay. Um, it's just, it's it's the way to get your ticket, stand, uh, ticket scanned and just smoother process to, uh, to enter the stadium all together. So it's a big one. It's one of the biggest matches in the club's history. For many, it might be the biggest match in the club's history and you have an opportunity to see it. First hand, Beans is, he's out, he's excited. It doesn't look like it because he's still sleeping behind me. Um, but he's excited. I'm excited. We're, we're all excited. And it's coming up on Saturday. Enjoy the match. I'll be there. I hope to see you there. FC is prepared and now you are informed. This has been Match Day Preview with Anthony Urcioli on the Forge Audio Network. Subscribe on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.